Dress for Dinner, an outrageous French sex farce by Mark Camilletti, has arrived on Broadway. We're here at the American Airlines Theater to celebrate the hijinks and spilled drinks on opening night of this zany comedy. So what brings you out to Don't Dress for Dinner tonight? I never got to see Boeing Boeing uh, when I lived here. When I lived here and it was up, uh, I was uh, flat broke. And so I'm very excited to get to come and, and uh, see a show uh, like this. So are you guys like a, like a good farce? Um, yeah. yeah, thrilled with a good farce. Sex farce, maybe? Even better. Nice. So if you were having a dinner party, a sexy dinner party, yes. what would be on your menu? Oh, my God. Well, number one, I would not be having a sexy dinner party. Um, I don't do things. No, no. It sounds like an awkward evening. Um, chocolate and oysters. See? So are you ready to uh, go across uh, over to Europe tonight? Wee, oui, wee, oui, bring it on. <laughs> Congratulations, how are you feeling? I feel fantastic. I mean, we've been having such a good time on this show, and but we've been in previews forever. And I feel like we, you know, worked out all the kinks and we're ready to be officially open. It's been great. We had a lovely opening night. We sort of, it was sort of quite a relaxed one. All the pressure felt a little bit off. It was sort of lovely. You guys are so amazingly funny on stage. Are you guys, you know, having as much fun off stage? Yeah, we, we, we spent so much time in rehearsal uh, just crying laughing because we were being so stupid and uh, mostly inappropriate. Our job is to come in and uh, be ridiculous, so that's a pretty great job to have. When you do something like fast, you have to really be aware of if someone's trying something new on stage and kind of be open and let them try it and see kind of where it goes. The six of us, it's like a little jazz troupe and we all have to learn to riff and jazz together. There's so much physical comedy in this. They're jumping and running around. Do you have any battle scars? I'm afraid I do, actually. I think Ben kicked me once in the wrist. Ben, a couple of nights ago, took a chunk right out of my um, uh, ankle uh, during the sort of when we spin around with the telephone. And it only just healed. He did it early on and it just, the scar just healed and then he oh. ripped off again. I have mysterious bruises all the time. I don't know where they come from. And the dressers are always like slathering us with arnica. If you were throwing your own sexy dinner party, what would be on your menu? Um, Andrew Garfield. <laughs> It'd be a lot of fruit and chocolate, I think. I'd do a filet mignon roast with like an herb sauce and some asparagus, maybe oysters to start with. I think chocolate fondue has to be a part of it, but I kind of feel like maybe it should be a bathtub full of chocolate fondue. I'm just saying. Like a huge hot tub. Definitely involves some warm liquid and some immersion of some kind. What has the audience response been so far to this show? Fantastic. I mean, every night the audience is having a great time. People really love this show. It makes them laugh really hard. And I think that it's really important to laugh in these troubled times. And, you know, it's just silly. There's a lot of pratfalls. There's a lot of sexiness. A lot of people running around in lingerie. You'll leave uh, with a, a sore stomach from laughing so hard and uh, know that we had as much fun as hopefully the audience will.